to this mass is offered for souls in purgatory. We also pray and offer for souls who have no one to pray for. We pray for the souls of Mrs. Charlotte, for Phyllis Chin Kui Lan, for Samantha Lo Hui Chen, for Richard Victor, for Alfred Manjit, for Philip Len Woon Choi and Judy Lee Po Ai, for Anthony Xiao Chin Hock and Elizabeth Ko So, for Catherine Liu Nyuk Len, for Madam Lim Chun Im, for Lim Po Huat and Ku Pit Leng. We offer special intentions for Fong Wai Kwan, who see God's blessings and wisdom for continuous smooth workflow and good teamwork in job always. For James Wong Jun Ken, who see God's blessings and to be free from tribulation. Birthday blessings for Petrona Bateman by Monique Bateman. Birthday wishes to Petrona Bateman by Madam Salus Anthony. Birthday blessings and good health for Teresa Sun by Teresa Yong. Special intention by Teresa Yong, who seek God's blessings for good health. Special intention and thanksgiving for Bhagi Bhagamasbad and family prayers for families in Melbourne, Australia and Philippines. Offering thanksgiving by Agnes Chong and family. Offering thanksgiving for God's blessings, guidance and mercy for daughters Adeline and Angeline by Molly and Go. We so continue to lift up all those who are suffering during this pandemic, all those who are finding difficulty to get a job or sustaining a job. All those who are facing domestic problems, all those who are finding difficulty to get food, and many other problems and issues that people face, may they continue to receive God's blessings and guidance through our generosity. We so pray for our own personal intentions. We should glory in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, in whom is our salvation, life, and resurrection to whom we are saved and delivered. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. My dear friends, today the Church celebrates the Feast of the Exaltation of the Cross, and we are invited to embrace the cross as a sign of love that God has given to His Son, and for us in every difficulty that we go through, we know that this cross is God's presence with us, who is guiding us and never abandoning us. And so for times that we have been rattling in complaint about the crosses in our lives, for times we have not seen the greatness of God's presence through difficulties, for times that we have given up on God when we face with many difficulties and challenges, for this and for the sins that we have committed, let us be truly sorry for our sins, acknowledging them, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and, and on, on earth, earth peace, peace to people of good will. We, we praise you, you, we bless you, you we adore you, you, we glorify you, you. we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son. Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray.
O God, who willed that your only begotten Son should undergo the cross to save the human race, grant we pray that we who have known his mystery on earth may merit the grace of his redemption in heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Numbers. On the way through the wilderness, the people lost patience. They spoke against God and against Moses. Why did you bring us out of Egypt to die in this wilderness? For there is neither bread nor water here. We are sick of this unsatisfying food. At this God sent fiery serpents among the people. Their bite brought death to many in Israel. The people came and said to Moses, We have sinned by speaking against the Lord and against you. Intercede for us with the Lord to save us from these serpents. Moses interceded for the people. And the Lord answered him, Make a fiery serpent and put it on a standard. If anyone is beaten and looks at it, he shall live. So Moses fashioned a bronze serpent, which he put on a standard. And if anyone was beaten by a serpent, he looked at the, serp he looked at the bronze serpent and lift the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Never forget the deeds of the Lord. Never forget the deeds of the Lord. Give heed, my people, to my teaching. Turn your ear to the words of my mouth. I will open my mouth in a parable and reveal hidden lessons of the past. Never forget the deeds of the Lord. When he slew them, then they would seek him, return and seek him in earnest. They would remember that God was their rock, God the Most High, their Redeemer. Never forget the deeds of the Lord. But the words they spoke were only flattery. They lied to him with their lips, for their hearts were only truly with him, for their hearts were not truly with him. They were not faithful to his covenant. Never, Never forget, forget the, the deeds of, of the Lord. Lord. Yet who is full of compassion, forgave their sin and spared them. So often he held back his anger when he might have stirred up his rage. Never forget, forget the, the deeds, deeds of, of the, the Lord. Lord. And we bless you because by your cross you have redeemed the world. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, Glory to you, Lord. Lord. 
Jesus said to Nicodemus, No one has gone up to heaven except the one who came down from heaven, the Son of Man who is in heaven. And the Son of Man must be lifted up, as Moses lifted up the serpent in the desert, so that everyone who believes may have eternal life in him. Yes, God loved the world so much that he gave his only Son, so that everyone who believes in him may not be lost, but may have eternal life. For God sent his Son into the world, not to condemn the world, but so that through him the world might be saved. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Nicodemus comes to Jesus to find out who this miracle worker is. And Jesus tells him that he is the Son of Man and God's Son. He has come down from heaven and will return there. Now that he has identified himself, he has gotten Nicodemus' attention and ours too. His answer to the first question does not satisfy us because it has brought up several other questions. How can he claim to be the Son of God when there is but one God? If he is truly God's Son, why has he come down to earth? What does he want or expect from us? Moses had at God's command led Israel out of slavery in Egypt. When the people rebelled in the desert, they were punished by fairy serpents that beat them with poisonous venom. So Moses intervened on their behalf, making a bronze image of a serpent, placed on a post, and those who looked at it were saved. And so likewise, Jesus saves humanity from its rebellion, not by a symbol raised on a stick, but by sacrificing himself as he was raised on a cross. And he saves us not from temporal death, but from eternal death. And he is indeed a saviour greater than Moses. So my dear friends, how much does, God, does the Father love us? If we could measure love on a thermometer, God's infinite love would send the mercury out the end. His love is boundless. So what would he withhold from us? if he has already given his son to save us. Our sentiments upon contemplating the immensity of God's love for us should be gratitude, praise, and reciprocating love towards him. And so as we celebrate this Eucharist, let us learn and grow in deeper discovery of the love of God in our lives. As he has come down from heaven, becoming the son of man, so that we would come to know, love, and imitate him more in our lives. Let us exalt the cross in our mind, in our heart, that we might see it as an instrument of love, God's abundant love for us, that we may reciprocate to that love in return to the point of giving our life for him. We pray for this grace during this Mass. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the wine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands. 
for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May this oblation, O Lord, which on the altar of the cross cancelled the offence of the whole world, cleanse us, we pray, of all our sins. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you place the salvation of the human race on the wood of the cross, so that where death arose, life might again spring forth, and the evil one who conquered on a tree might likewise on a tree be conquered through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with us in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your dead, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Sebastian, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, we Saints Faustina and John Paul II, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. As we pray the Lord's Prayer, we pray that we embrace the crosses in our lives as we dare to say, Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is, is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. peace. This is Jesus, the love of the Father, who was offered for our sins. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. When I am lifted up from the earth, I will draw everyone to myself, says the Lord. Let us pray. 
having been nourished by your holy banquet, we beseech you, Lord Jesus Christ, to bring those you have redeemed by the wood of your life-giving cross to the glory of the resurrection, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Pray the prayer for all. God, Lord, our merciful Lord, Father, Father, source, source of, of healing, healing, cast the light of health and well-being well on those who have been exposed to coronavirus, those who have contracted the disease. Bless them, protect them, and bring them speedily to full recovery. God of wisdom, bless medical scientists and researchers around the world with insight and skill, dedication and fortitude. Let their yields knowledge and understanding, speedily finding a vaccine, treatments and deterrence to its spread. Source of life, grant public health and government officials the strength to act swiftly and decisively with compassion and understanding in service to humankind, fighting this outbreak, threatening the lives of our brothers and sisters, nations and communities, young and old. God of the present moment, bring hope and courage to all who wait or work in uncertainty. Bring hope that you will make them the equal of whatever lies ahead. We pray all this in the mighty name of Jesus, through the intercession of our blessed Mother Mary. Amen. Have a blessed day. Same to you, Father.